Welcome back to Soldier Egg. Welcome back, Soldier Egg. Whew, star fighter. Too bad there's no camera. Yeah. Anyway. Back to doing more stuff. Uh, so, just did the pharaoh. Ooh. No. Wait. Oh, uh, oh no, did the chariot, didn't we? No. The, the royal right authority. This is like, that's DLC stuff though. You know why you want to be a little more lenient with your human effigies? Because it has to do with something. Because you need it for the Dark Lurker. Every time you fail. Oh. Uh, you really should. fail? So you really should not be like popping them every 90%. I don't plan to fail. <laughs> should we do that now? Or can we do that now? You can do it later or now. It doesn't really matter. If you do it now, you at least will can make sure you can try to do it before fucking up more. Do now. So, um... We, we gotta meet the... We gotta meet the old man, right? I don't recall, or recall where you haven't meet, met him. We just start from the beginning. So I guess check him in... No, let's go to the poison area. Right there. Here? Second one. Twelve? This is gonna be hell. It's only for, like, the boss and maybe the area in front of him. I don't really understand how it works exactly, like, how they section him. Mm hmm But, yeah. So you gotta do a 180, and then it's kind of, like, along the cliff side. Oh, I gotta fall off the lawyer again? Yeah. Should I use a... You should have the forgotten key, so you just have to fall down to get him. Which controls? I just... Thinking of a Nintendo... Or, yeah. Switch. All the consoles. Okay. Every single thing's different. Carol, what? Uh. It's right behind these three, or whatever. Right here. Well, okay. Works. Stagger me off and the cliff. Oh. Should I not produce light? <laughs> he disappears. I don't like light. Huh? Hello. Young undead. Sorry. Just don't want to talk to him. Check the um. One in the forest. I feel like that's the one we didn't do. This one? Because we definitely got to his uh, um, spot in the uh, castle. For the bonfire. What about the... Forest. Yeah, the forest. Okay. That is... Um, go up to the right. One more to the right down. Yeah, it's Here? the last. Doesn't look like a forest, but it's a forest. The fog forest. It grows fog. Fog, like the fume lady. Yeah, I just gotta get up there and then fall down. God, you fucking overshot so hard. I think it's gonna do it like right in front of me, and I. That's what I mean. Really it doesn't do it like what normal moves do. You literally go like, eh, and then push it forward. It's, it's kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of amazing. You have to like completely change your whole logic. The right. I don't like it laughing at me. I'm very self-conscious. You were running around with the poo. I know, but that... Over here? Yeah, it's in the right grass. There? I think it's already kind of broken right there. Yay. And then talk to him. Probably did it. I guess we have to go to... Castle? Okay, then. Whatever. Castle? Yeah. Did we kill him? No, you, you saw him a second ago. I don't think... He's not like three different people. Okay. <laughs> I was scared for a second. I was like... And you should have the bonfire right next to him. And drain like... Here. Yeah, it's that one. This one? Yeah. Oh, look who... Right next to him? Mm-hmm. There's gonna be a guy with no, with a butt face in the room they have to kill. Did they the farm it. set? Sorry. Bam. This way? There's an enemy out there. Whoa. Uh oh. Spooky man. I don't want to do free spins, but that's fine. Mask of judgment, the fuck? Dead. I never. It's not, it's not a one time. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> okay. Yeah, he's in there. Oh, we meet again. We meet again. 
You have the look of a true seeker. I am Dark Diver Grand. Gandalf. Seeker of dark. His fingertips. If you He's like webbed. True dark, I it's like so skinny that it's like. Ew. It's yeah. so skin. Oh, I love how it gives you the achievement even if you didn't like to say yes or I no. Know. He's, he has a. He has a. Oh, I thought he had a ring on. Abyss seal. Yeah, they've been coming to do this. Yep. Ranking it up is accomplishing each one of these. Oh. So that's probably the easiest one covenant there is. I'm gonna be very honest with you, because if you really don't want to waste him, if you have to cheese shit, cheese shit, because it's gonna get really retarded really bad. Really? Yeah, there's really gonna be bad? too many enemies and there's gonna be a lot of death pits. That's like an ice shield. And you can't see very it. well because it's dark. Okay. So be as lenient as you can. Honestly, lenient. this is kinda where I use the fume sword just to poke people. Like, so they keep, like, every time they get up, I poke them back down because these are going to be enemies that are, like, uh, you know, like, invader enemies. They, like, are really active. Sure. You know? mm -hmm. So, it's more fun to cheese them than to not fucking deal with their bullshit. Okay. Um, where's, where's Gablon? I want to buy some poison arrows. Could be in a few places. He's either, if you haven't seen him in the poison area, he's in the poison area. If you've seen him there, he should be in the doors of Pharos leading up to the next I don't think we saw him there. So he's probably in the poison area. Yaw. Those aren't very good though, huh? I mean, if you're gonna snipe things, it's... Poison's best. Don't waste yeah. Time. Don't waste my time. Oh. Huh? Ornstein. Oh. <laughs> I was like, what? Dragon Slayer? And then... Oh. Those are really crappy items that you get from him. Like, very you get his spear? You might get his spear, but the other ones are kind of shit. What's the... Can we check them out? Wait, wait the other ones are just like... This crap. Mm-hmm. It's... Eh. That one? I'll, I'll look at it real quick. Goblin will, goblin deal. I know I'm gonna get poison arrows from them and just poison the arrow everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not trying to. Chariot Lance? What? Huh? Bident? Sure. I don't know if I'll try to shield. Shield crossbows. Oh. You shoot from it. But it's still a shield. That's weird. Yeah. There's a sanctum shield which increases, which can be used to cast, I think. Uh huh. Yeah, that's weird shit. Try the lions. I like weapons. Check the other thing. Maybe it's a uh, huh. spell. Oh. Yeah, we're a rat. Okay. Yeah, I gave you souls. I don't know what you're. I can imagine on. spells being worth it for boss weapons. I mean, boss items, but the rest of that crap is just uh Boss weapons are just shit. The lance seems like. Why well, would I want that? <laughs> you want circumstantial things or builds or whatever? Sure, go for it. But otherwise, I don't think so. I don't think so, Mister. Hey, Mister. Um. Didn't I make the chariot this? It's a spear. Oh, or lance. Okay, it looked kind of weird. Ew! What the hell? God. Anything cool? No. I think those tires. What the hell? What? Did it despawn? Yeah. Why? I just found that weird. That's been a lot of times to kill them. Oh yeah, we've come back here quite a bit. So this is this is just a basic lance, not anything special. Maybe a little more base damage from the beginning. Open up the door. FBI, yeah, open up. Oh. Ah. Yuck. That's not terrible damage. That's doing more than the uh than Alon's weapon. Yeah. 
the speed, you know? Yeah, long go it's faster. One of my favorite weapons of all time from Dark Souls 1. This weapon carried me to New Game Plus 4. Nice. Yeah, it's a good, it's, people say it's garbage, but I'm like, are you kidding me? It has good base damage and it has electricity on it. Don't tell me about all that. Uh, it's probably not, it's probably completely garbage in this game, but is this base? Because it shoots a one handed and one, it shoots a lightning bolt like that. Yeah, but you don't have the stats to wield it. Yeah. You can check it's like special thing. It might say special action if do this. I think it's the same. What man? It could be. What else did they make? Forget. Shield crossbow? No. He didn't uh no, I made the lance. Belt tower spear. Oh by Biden. Okay. Ooh. Look at the back of it. it. has like a little tiny axe. Ah. Just a disgusting spear. <sighs> kind of bad. Yep. That's how good. In a way, the the weapons that don't have special effects are kind of better if you think about it, because they don't have like this weird detriment. Break. Yeah. It's not just break. It's just like they usually get crappy stats. Like well, they usually balance. do break when you use it, right? Yeah. Like Dark Souls One or Dark Souls Three, the or yeah, Dark Souls One, the giant pfft, explosion swords, the dragon build. Um. Can I? Oh, Gavlon. Pfft, I'm freaking an idiot. Okay. Poison. Because I can sell things, Gavlon. I'm gonna sell half those weapons, like not the bosses, but like <laughs> stuff I have. I was wondering myself if you're ever going to touch this version of the game on this thing after this. Because you're doing a lot of effort for something that I'm not sure if you're going to play. A lot of effort? I'm saying like because... Uh, I always want to see stuff. No, I'm just saying like because it'd be like a new game plus or anything or played around or whatever. It's Probably not with this file. Because it's on the PC is what I'm getting at mostly. Oh. So let's see if he's in... Oh, hello. Woo! Yeah. No, he's in the last place. There was a Paris? Yes. Yeah. Because in the original game, he's in uh, the little. What's it called? The Bright Stone. Not Bright Stone, but the little pirate bar area. He's in that area, on the top floor. He's in there in this version as the first place, but he's next really? to the door that you pull. Like a little bit Oh, he's just in a different, a different just, spot. Yeah. Wait, um, where am I going? Oh, there was a Paris. I don't know why I got all the way. This down left. So confusing looking. Uh, first one. This yes. one? Yes, indeed, eh? Is that a Mark Do you want me to play this game <laughs> more? I mean, I'd be able to see you online more often, I guess. But other than that, it's up to you. It's also the other way around, too. I want to see you online. Yeah. But, um. And even though I have a Switch now, we're not always playing it 24 7, so. That's kind of a thing. Pokemon, I've started playing it, but it's like, it's first gen and bad, bad catching and stuff. The fact that you basically have a neutered version of the original. Yeah. You have to have Pokemon follow you behind you, but... You get experience from catching Pokemon. <laughs> you can ride your Pokemon, but like, like, uh, Pokemon you ride, you're forced to ride if you have them as your first partner. You can, yeah. I, I can't have my Arcanine follow me. It has, I have to be writing it, which is like, uh, I don't want that. I want to have my recommend follow me. I don't know. Gen 1's pretty nostalgic, and the concept of uh, yeah, this new updated world seems nice, but they, like, botched it pretty hard, if I'm being honest with you. They did. I think so, too. Like, I don't give a shit what anyone says about it. It's like, oh, it's for the newcomers. What the heck was the original one for them? Yeah. Pro gamers? <laughs> Bitch. You're making the games too easy, and making the people play them not learn. I know. He's not here. You can hear talking, can't you? Kill, break oh. those statues again. If there's one left. 
I swear to tits, there was talk. I hear, like, mumbling. I heard a... Oh, like a... Invisible person? Good stuff. I think it's out there. Could be. I don't know about that. I swear to God, I'm hearing... Like a lady's voice. So is he at the... First place, then? Oh my god. I don't think I've seen him at least once in this game. Honestly. He wouldn't be anywhere further from what I can tell, so... He's supposed to be in that room. Yeah. Oh boy. So I have to go to... Pirate Bay. Yes. Not the website. Cut. Um... But yeah, they said that Gen 8 is supposed to be like a return to form, but it's like... Because 7... The, th the thing was, I knew 7 was going to be, like, um, bad. Everyone was hyped about it. Like, oh, it looks it's so good. There's no more gems. It's going to be Hawaii cool. The Hawaii area? Huh? The Hawaii one? Yeah. Okay. Everyone's like, oh, it's going to be so good. It's, 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 it doesn't have gems and stuff. And then it comes out, and people are like, oh, it's so good. And then, like, now they're like, bad. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. Like, here's my thing. I love you, Nintendo, but I don't really love what you make currently. I love what you made. It holds a legacy. Ocarina of Time still holds a legacy. People can still go back and play it. Uh, fireplace. Where's uh, that at? <laughs> go north. <laughs> Upward? Yep, it's quite a bit up there. Oh. It's that thing in the middle left. There. Yes. Um, because, like, with Pokemon, again, I don't really care what the concept of it's for children now. It's like, what the hell was the point of it in the first place? Like, it wasn't perfect, but Nintendo's gotten more to the point of they try to, like, even back then, they try to make their games really polished. Yeah. To the point of, like... Oh, yeah. Because from, apparently, apparently when Sega was working with Nintendo, um, they were told that, like, Sega actually had more leniency when they were making their games in terms of, like, bug fixing. Like, they weren't as, like, thorough. But then they went to Nintendo, and Nintendo was like, if you're gonna put your game on ours... Yeah. Uh, you have to have it, like, meet so much more, like, twice as much. And it's like, damn. Um, so, like, I would say the only reason Pokemon, the original, was, like, so buggy for some people and had, like, weird little quirks is because, for starters, I kind of feel like they were doing a little too much for a Game Boy game. Oh, yeah. So, you like, memory was, 150 like, 150 Pokemon? Like, like, different unique sprites? And they probably maxed out the memory in that freaking thing. That's oh, why probably. people, like... That's probably why they had, like, barely any space. But, like, again, if if the original was meant for children and it had, like, so much to do and people could learn from the mistakes... The original was amazingly hard. Mm-hmm. And you could also kind of do whatever the hell you want wherever. You could not... I'm per, I don't know if this is true. Well, no, no, okay. You had to change boxes manually, like... Yeah, you had And to, like, it took a second. Because like, it, it was, took like, a little bit. I think it's because it was, uh, what they call, a uh, Like, memory switching, like, RAM switching. Sure. Because, like... It's like, this is inactive, and it can only have, like, maybe four right. blocks. So yeah. you have to, like, change which one's active. Right. Yeah, I, I saw that in, like, that and I was like, what the fuck? Uh, you only had a limited amount of space. So if you picked up the bicycle and had the town map, that took up space in your inventory. Oh, yeah. And you you had to put items in into your, your PC. Well, yes. Which, nowadays, you don't do that, because it's like, what the hell? I know. Even though you can, still. TMs are infinite. Yes. Um, just so you know, so look to your left. You could probably actually keep going this way, it'd probably be better. Um, but there's like a house building up there, right there. If you climb up there, he's like in that room, I think. And he might be being followed by... Go ahead. There is a guy with it, but he's not getting up. Uh, HMs are completely gone in the new one. Let's go. Hmm. You get techniques, just hidden techniques that... Apparently your Pikachu and Eevee can just do. Oh, your Pikachu can surf, that's crazy. Oh, your Pikachu can fly, that's crazy. Yeah. I still have fond memories of even, like, Sapphire and Ruby. That is your first one, right? That was My first one was Sapphire, and thinking back on it, I'm like, that game had so much in its world, and kind of oh, had yeah. that, like, classic feel to it, you know? Adding, like, the contests and stuff. And, like, I actually played the contest oh, back I then. I did, too. I... But now I... Screw it this time. Yeah. 
There he is. Oh, I was about to whack him. <laughs> I think you're fine. They destroyed it. Yeah, it saddens me, because, like... I love them, but, like, here's another thing, like, for example, with their, uh... That's not necessarily Nintendo, so... No, not necessarily. Give them a pass. No. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, there's also the, uh... What is it? Like, the oh, Super seven. Mario Brothers <laughs> ones, like, the 2D ones. And even, like, the Yoshi game and Kirby games. They made it so, like, all those games have a... You can't beat it? Well, here's a move to, like, beat it. The like, new ones, right? Yeah, like, um... Oh, you can't beat this new Super Mario Bros. Wii, maybe? Or the Wii one? I don't remember which. Oh, you died so many times? Here's, like... Here's, like, a P-Wing or some crap so you can just fly through the stage. Or they definitely did that with the Yoshi one where you just get Yoshi with wings, I think. Yeah, it's like... Serious. Okay. And then I even went back to play Super Mario... Uh... What is it? What the hell is it called? Uh, I don't even remember. Oh. I didn't even use a key I've invented yet. I don't recall what the hell it's called. It's like, it's the Super NES version. It's like Super Mario World. Yes. Super Mario World is insanely hard. From even when I played it recently, it's got a feel to it that the other 2D platforms don't have. Like in terms of how Mario controls. And it's very unforgiving. I, I, I do have to watch it. Yeah. There's even a, there's even a world, uh, I guess, a zone, I guess. That I call it the Lost Woods or whatever. And it's because certain stages have uh, alternate exits to like unlock a secret room, Whoops. secret uh, oh. stages or whatever. But in that in that zone, you actually have to find the correct exit, which might be mm -hmm. the normal exit or it might be the secret one. If it's the wrong one, you're just gonna keep looping around, and you can only do the same stages until you find the exit. It was ridiculous. <laughs> um, it's fun though, because there's a lot of hidden shit in that game. There's even a Star World and shit. Um, but like. It's it. I don't understand why everyone thinks it has to be made easier now. I don't understand. Yeah, back in the like, I don't know. It's bad. A game has to have some challenge. I mean, that's probably why half the people like. That's why they revered, love Dark Souls. Revere Dark Souls so much because it brought back a challenge. I mean, it's it's Jap like a pure Japanese base. Like, hey, we're gonna freaking make this. Like, even um, Miyazaki, the the creator, was like, I'm not trying to make a hard game. I'm just trying to make it, like. I want. Yeah. I don't need the freaking chair down. No. Yeah, it's kind of saddening to me. It's part of the reason I just kind of feel dull when I play some games and just like, uh, oh, hell yeah. the motions. Like, I played a little bit of Odyssey and, and it's at least. It's got a, so easy. It is pretty easy. I'm at least glad it has a bit of a. It feels. Because I was trying to decide to myself. Which one of the 3D Mario games does this feel like to me that I've played? And I'm like, it does have a bit of sunshine in it, like in terms yeah. of its openness, because I believe that. here's the thing, I don't like Galaxy 8. I liked it when I played it, That's but okay. thinking back on it, I don't like it as much because it really was constrained. It was more about the spectacle of the world than it was about exploring it. Because there was just so many areas where it's just like, use the star thing to get to the next planet. That's really generic looking shape. And then run around and deal with, oh, look at the physics. And then, oh, use the star thing to get to this thing. Or then they would have the stages. It's like, hey, here's a B stage you can, like, explore. And I'm like, cool. I wish there was more of this. <laughs> and then the second one came out. And you know what that one did? It got rid of a lot of those stages that were just explore this. You can tell you can tell Soul's very passionate about this. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so Odyssey at least has Odyssey. the feel. Although I will say... The other reason I can tell it has a feel is it gives, like, jack shit for story at the beginning when you really think about it. It just kind of throws you in, and it's like, go. I'm like, what? <laughs> you're, there's like, you're already on a ship, and it's already in the middle of a fight, and you get kicked off, and it's just like, why? Why? And then you land, and it's like, half. So I'm like, what? And it's like, go, you have abilities. I'm like, any other thing you want to, like, help me with? Even Sunshine at least gave a cutscene that was like, we landed on this place, hey Mario, clean up this mess, we think you're the one who did it. That's the premise. Mm -hmm. The premise for Odyssey is, get Peach back. Yes. It's dumbed down. It's it's very dumbed down. Because uh, I watched it, I watched a, like, a video about uh, Pokemon, uh, and, and the guy was saying that the deepest story Pokemon's ever had was Generation 5, black and white. Yes. Because it was super, like, detailed. And people were saying that 
And he was saying that that game didn't do very well. No. Because people didn't understand the story. And it was like, you know, kids play it and they're like, what the hell, I don't know what's going on. Right. I, my only draw pack to Black and White, to be honest with you, even looking back on it, is it felt like it sacrificed a lot of the world for the story. And even then, the ending kind of lackluster to me. Yeah. It's not because... I d it's not that I didn't like the ending. It's that I didn't like the way that they decided to end it. It wasn't so much beat the organization, do the Elite Four. It was do the Elite Four, fuck it, the organization invaded, which was cool. Yeah. Fight the final guy there. Oh, you, you wanted to beat the Elite Four? Eh, credits. I don't like... I don't like the Elite Four being the very, very last thing you do. Yeah. I feel like... Because, you know, you've played Silver Version, right? Or no? Yes. Okay. Because once you beat the Elite Four in the Silver Version and Gold, you can go to the... You can go to the next... Zone. Gen, but that's not even what I'm that's not even what I care about. I care about going to the top of Mount Silver and fighting Red. Hmm. As like a finale. Yeah, and he has all of his women are like level ninety or hundred. Does he get like Venus or Charizard uh Venus or Charizard, Blastoise, Pikachu, Snorlax, Lapras. Yeah. Yeah. Which is supposed to be like these are the kind of like key Pokemon you get in Kanto if you're playing as him. Right. Because you do get Snorlax, that's like a rare thing you find if you get him. Mm -hmm. You get Lapras for free, but it's kind of a rare thing. On a thing. Friday. <laughs> <laughs> you can find it in the cave on a Friday. Ah. Uh, I think it's... Well, that might be... That might be Silver version. <laughs> yeah, and then Silver and Gold added the whole thing with unknowns. And then Crystal was like, hey, let's not split it in half for the unknowns that you can find. Because <laughs> apparently they did yeah. that. Rip Tabble. Oh, well. I don't care. Um... Uh, my, one of my, which I'm, means I still have to get that game again because they're not gonna bother like putting it on any console. Which one? Uh, the Silver Gold remakes, Heart Gold, Soul Silver. I have every, I have all of them. Like, I just wish it was digital, so I don't have to like worry about my physical cartridge getting fucked. Yeah, I know. It, it, unlikely, but yeah. Or disc. I, it definitely happens with the GameCube PS2 Xbox era. Oh yeah. And that irks me. I I just beat uh the remakes of uh Ruby and Sapphire again. Mm -hmm. And I'm uh, going. I mean, I just started Platinum. What are you thinking of the Omega, their story? Because it's definitely a different story. Like, how do you feel about it? Because I kind of liked it, but it, it got crazy. It got yeah. anime. <laughs> it, yeah, it's pretty anime. That's, that's what okay. I, I wasn't. I wasn't disappointed in it. It's what. That's kind of. I liked this. There was a post game. Story. I didn't like. I didn't like the. Uh, the city changing into a shopping mall. No, that was weird. I was like, what the hell? But I like that there was a post-game post -game story. Post-game really good. As yeah. in, like, it wasn't just do shit. It was like, hey, if you find these people and talk to these people, more events will happen. Yeah, that was... Post-game of Pokemon is, like, my number one thing I wanted. What is your timer at right now? Where did your phone die? the hell? Uh, it's freaking because of... I think we'll continue this next yeah. time. Yeah, sorry, I'm gonna guys. hold this brain thought. Yeah. I, I ain't done. Yeah. Talk to you later. See you guys later.